Hi, welcome to this next video on our testing series. Today we are, I'm going to talk about the IEEE 829 documentation. Before we went further, how did we come to this uh, standard set by, IEEE, by the IEEE conference? In the past, uh, there have been uh, MS uh, regarding uh, testing documentation. This organization used to have its own format, its own set of documents, and then this thing used to bring a lot of uh, incompatibilities and uh, misunderstanding whenever, for example, a company had to exchange documentations and even the community was divided. And even for the, for a developer, suppose you work for one company as you have been working as a tester, you move to another company, you have to learn you have to learn it from the scratch how to make the documentations and many of the organizations should be making outsourcing making are uh, making rely on outsourcing so suppose you have your project here you outsource it to a in asia and then they make it there uh, they make the testing and report it on their own format even if you send your own format your own format they will maybe spend more time try to understand uh, your format your documentation format so with all this in the IEEE came out with this standard that has been widely accepted in the community and today I'm going to talk about this uh, documentation so IEEE has then developed uh, the uh, 829 standard for software test documentation for any type of software testing so there are eight document type in the standards that are used in three distinct phase of the software testing and uh, throughout uh, this series I have already said in the beginning in the first uh, video of the series I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you a step by step step by step description implementation and writing of each document for our sample uh, coffee machines so I will not talk a lot but I will make uh, this video more pragmatic so I will just try to give you what is essential if you you want to read more about theoretical stuff feel free you have i think a lot of documentations are there online so these are the three group of documents three phase if we divide uh, the software testing in three phases like preparations of test then the running of the test and then the completion of the test so in each type of uh, in each type of uh, this phase yeah, it is a set of document that is required and that's what we are going to do here the first phase is the preparation of the test here you have the test plan what is the test plan is simply how the testing will be will, will proceed so here you are going to show explain step by step in some points how the testing the overall testing will proceed then the next one is the text design specification that decide what need to be tested so as if you can if i can repeat myself in the test plan you try to see how thing will proceed and in the test design specification we decide what need to be tested in the third document that is the test case specification here we create the test cases the test cases to uh, that we are that we are going to run in our test so here is all about creating the test cases then the next one is the text procedure where we describe how the test run i say here how the test what is important here is this the term how 
describing how the test will run. Then the last one is the test item transmitter report where we specify the item release for the testing. The next one is the running of the test. Here, two types of documents are needed. That is the test log, which records the details of the test in time order. Then the next one is the test incident report. As its name indicates, that record details of even that need to be investigated. During the test, some issue will pump will pop up, and then this thing will not maybe. Uh, we didn't plan for this issue. Miscellaneous things will happen. Then, in order not to stop the testing, this thing will be recorded in the specific document and investigated there. So just like take something off of the testing, normal testing procedures and investigate it later. Then the last one is the completion of the test. Whenever we have prepare our test, run it, the last things will be the completion. It's the type of conclusion that is the test summary report that summarizes and evaluate uh, the test. So here come the end of uh, this series so i just wanted this video to be short just uh, important here to retain is to know that in testing there's certain document that are needed if you want to do the testing properly there's set of documents that are needed and then it was also to talk about uh, to drag your attention about uh, the RCP 829 standards. So I hope uh, you have learned something uh, throughout this video tutorial. And the last one is uh, all my appreciation to the Cooley Consulting for the uh, which uh, documentations most of uh, my slide were prepared from their documentation i really thank them for uh, their documentations so uh, please uh, stay connected for the next video tutorial and if you have any question do not hesitate to drop the comment See you. Bye.